Hi, everyone. Thank you for coming for this event. Um, it's actually a big pleasure for us because, honestly, we thought, you know, like, nobody's going to come. Okay, it was a joke. We expected uh, 300 people, and uh, I guess people are going to come and back. So if you have time during the day, please stay because it's going to be a fruitful event with a lot of uh, networking opportunities. So let me start. Uh, I'm Daria. Uh, I'm 11 years in e-commerce. Um, six years of my life, actually, uh, I'm related to marketplaces. I used to work in the marketplace, and for the last three years, I'm a service provider for sellers and brands on marketplaces. And um, 10 years of my life I spent in China, uh, working with Chinese sellers. So uh, what actually sells screen as Cellematics? I'm sure you're a bit confused because you know, like you see two brands. Um, Cell screen is the solution for small and medium businesses. And for small and medium businesses, they actually provide um, information which make help them to answer two basic questions. First is what to sell, basically product search, and second, how to sell, so we provide up automation and optimization of many um, uh, processes on marketplaces. Second uh, baby of us, it's actually Cellematics. Uh, and in Cellematics, we started uh, uh, three years ago in 2020. Back then, we started actually to work with Chinese sellers, um, only SMBs. And we realized that COVID hit and other business um, is uh, going down so quickly. We just started, but it's like almost over. So we decided that we need to find some kind of stable business model. And we onboarded more than 40 um, uh, big enterprise clients in CIS region. So for Russia, Kazakhstan, uh, Belarus, Ukraine, they are the major service providers for those brands. So why company actually choose us? Uh, first, we have very strong technical team, so we actually able to gather the data, collect the data on daily basis for f more than 30 marketplaces. And for this region, I think we're going to uh, cross 52 marketplaces and retailers. Um, and um, uh, now for MENA region, we have data for Amazon, Telebat, Noon, Nana, uh, Noon Grocery. So. Um, why we came to this market? It's actually, for us, is, was not easy decision. Because first, we decided to focus on the US market as any, any, any startup. Although, we realized that there is so much potential in emerging markets. And people who are here in this market, sometimes they don't even realize how lucky they are. So, let's take uh, a look. So, the, 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 the below, uh, the pink number is number of sellers, and uh, their uh, orange number is actually uh, market size. So um, you may see MENA region as a very small region. That's true. But the number of sellers which on this region is just less than 30,000 uh, sellers, which includes sellers, SMBs, and uh, companies, distributors who are working on marketplaces, retailers, and sell through own D2C channels. So um, you, we found that this market um, has very um, prominent uh, potential for growth. And as you see here, there are only two markets which are potentially going to uh, grow by uh, 25%, which and um, the MENA is one of them. Second thing, but there is so much mis like, um, misunderstanding about the market. And I'm sure here's a like, lot of people who are working in this market for many, many years. And uh, you, of course, know that. But still, you see, there is like, uh, main players. One of the main players is Amazon. This is the data for like two years 
ago, but it's still relevant. So the main player, Amazon. Then, Noon in Namshi. Now, Noon acquired Namshi, so basically, let's consider them as a one player. And then you can see uh, Apple and uh, Sharaf DJ. So how the, then people look at the market, they don't have data. Actually, we didn't have data before we started to provide it. Um, so this is how they see Noon. This is Noon traffic from similar web. This is Amazon traffic from similar web. So people think that there's free marketplaces, free region. First is UAE, second is KSA, and third is Egypt. So the total number of visits is actually is like equivalent number of um, visits for Noon uh, UAE. Although, then you look at the data for particular products, you may be surprised. Because actually, for many products, for some of categories, and especially for sellers, Noon may be sometimes even more loyal than Amazon, because we all know Amazon is very customer-centric platform. So another misconception, what we see about the sellers, is like, oh, uh, Noon and Amazon, they sell the same they sell uh, all the products, so sellers and brands don't have any room to grow on marketplaces. Although, as they see this number now, uh, Noon has 16% uh, of uh, sales of their store, and uh, Amazon has 17%, so it's like a um, very decent number. And when we came to the Russian market, it was three years ago, there are no any tool, no analytics, no big development of uh, marketplaces. We saw the kind of same number. So this is February 2021, you see 18%. And actually by now, this number decreased by 7.5%. Another misconception is like, um, Nobody making money on marketplaces. Here is again data on noon. Uh, the split of the sellers for each um, for each um, revenue range. So you can see here that 18% of the uh, clients of the sellers they make um, 10 to 100 um, dirhams per month. Um, and what we see here is also interesting. Get back, yeah. So the, the also the interesting thing is uh, about the, um, the the growth for marketplaces during the uh, special promotion. Ramadan is coming, so um, the the grow this is very very substantial growth increase of sales. Uh, comparing, for example, August in November. So here we see sixty one percent. So, um, another thing is like, can new stores grow on Amazon? By the way, this is our interface. Um, so you can see all this data on daily basis without any, any, any additional, um, <laughs> thank you very much, without any additional help. So you can just go and check everything on your competitors and um, on your own store as well. So you can see your own market share. So here you can see, of course, you can see the big old merchants, they are growing very significantly. It's actually data for uh, February. And, but there are new sellers who are also growing very aggressively. So yeah, you can see here, average uh, store grow on these numbers, and this is the new stores launched in December. But there are a number of good niches, there are a number of good categories on marketplaces, although sometimes sellers, especially uh, new sellers who come into the market, they think that they are not going to sell what market need, but they want to sell what they sell, in, for example, in the market they are originally from. So here you can see, like for example, on Marketplace Noon, fashion. What what the size of the fashion compared to electronics and mobile and home and kitchen. Or sometimes the misconception is, um, okay, so 
um, only electronic selling good. But we can see here, so actually, for from the sales perspective, of course, it's home and kitchen. And if you check the data for different periods, for example, August and November, of course, in August, there are going to be like more share of electronics, but then the sales um, time, promo time, of course, um, uh, home and kitchen uh, keeping up. So what kind of metrics you need to uh, you need to actually monitor to be successful on marketplaces. First is placement, listing positions, reviews, because it's actually the content which generated by users, uh, price, range price changes, and stocks, availability, very important thing, um, and uh, level of discount, uh, then you uh, participate in, in promotions. All of those very important. So here's the product. The sales in August, you can see um, with discount of 27%, number of sales is less than 300. So here is the November data, same product, same discount, it's just November, and you see the sales is way more higher. So it's also the big thing to participate in promise than it's needed um, to be done. Another thing is product stocks, uh, especially in promo time. If you don't have stocks, you generate some kind of lost profit. If you um, have stocks, in, then your competitors don't have. You actually can reprice yourself um, against the competitors. Placement. Um, the, the, if, from we're gonna have like so many amazing speakers who are gonna talk about external and uh, internal traffic on marketplaces. Uh, but what we can see now that it's pretty amazing because you not sometimes you're not able to use uh, advertising tools outside, for instance, for example, for marketplace outside Amazon. But you still can use external traffic, which price is still reasonable compared to many other markets. And one of the last key um, component of success in marketplaces is actually content. In, and again, so, so many times then you buy something, it's actually Amazon screen, but it also could happen at noon. You buy something, it's, it's not supposed to be returned, and you don't know what you're getting. And sometimes its products could be quite awesome, but sometimes you just throw it out. So. Um, the importance of con on content, you may say, then you have like 100,000 of SKUs, how you can track it. Yes, you can. You can track it by quantity, and the ELSA can compare the ideal image with the image you actually have on Marketplace. Uh, so here is the promo code. If you screen, uh, if you, if you uh, like scan this promo code, QR code, actually, sorry. Um, so you can get seven days uh, access for a cell screen. And uh, if something, what just was saying about just now, touched you, uh, please scan this promo code and connect with our analysts because they can give you so much insights on your current situation. And as you realize, we are a startup, uh, we are very new for the market, and it's actually, uh, we bootstrapped um, our, our previous um, three years. We got profitable in uh, CS market like very, very fast. We plan to do so in here, but we have long strategy for our expansion. And we also raised in seed fund uh, for the global HQ. And our focus is also their e-commerce enthusiast and professionals who uh, understand what we're doing. So contact me if you think it's interesting. And yes, here's my LinkedIn. Um, maybe lots of people uh, got to this uh, conference through my LinkedIn. Um, and here's my uh, Instagram if you don't uh, use uh, LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Um, I hope.
you're gonna have a great day. And um, yeah, um, let's continue with our awesome speakers.